Just this week, Michelle Bachman actually, actually predicted that I would bring about the biblical end of days. Now that's a legacy. Baltimore is burning, and Maryland's governor has declared a state of emergency. The National Guard say that as many as 5,000 troops have been deployed amid the unrest. Gas is being deployed by the police, it's being thrown back by the officers. As you can see, smoke is engulfing this entire area. The situation is escalating. Breaking news tonight in Baltimore, where there's high tension despite a curfew. Some people are still in the streets challenging heavily armed police, and it looks like the beginning of a long night. Minutes after a 10 p.m. curfew went into effect. National Guard troops in armored Humvees are patrolling the now empty streets of Baltimore. The National Guard represents a last resort in order to restore order. And I issued the executive order less than 30 seconds after requested by the city. After a day marked by property destruction, looting and fires, Maryland State Police are now running the show in the city of 620,000. Now, here in Baltimore, uh, the unrest is spreading across the city. It's uh, happening in the west, in the east, and uh, again, there's a dozen buildings on fire. We also gave those who wished to destroy space to do that as well. Baltimore City families deserve peace and safety in their communities. Got on camera now, a 6.6 .6 earthquake hit the coast of Taiwan this morning. There was also a tsunami warning for the coast of Japan, but we can't tell you that has now been lifted. Wow. We begin with breaking news overnight, a devastating and deadly earthquake in Nepal. The quake was a magnitude 7.9. It was just after noon when the killer earthquake struck and triggered chaos on the streets of the capital, Kathmandu. <laughs> The quake ripped through roads. Centuries-old temples and monuments came tumbling down. Suddenly, without warning, the shockwaves hit Nepal. Uh, the ground shook uh, quite hard for, I would say, possibly about 30 seconds. Shaken residents then jolted by aftershocks, the terror returning again and again. Every time that there was a tremor, everyone would say, it's coming again, it's coming again, the panic would rise. Religious temples and historical monuments in pieces everywhere. This morning, buildings buckling in Nepal. 6.7 aftershock sending an already shaken community running and turned this once gleaming monument into a pile of bricks. The original magnitude 7.8 earthquake felt by nearly 6 million people in Nepal, India, China and Bangladesh, even unleashing massive avalanches 100 miles away on Mount Everest. Among the dead, American climber Dan Fredenberg, a Google executive. 
Officials say it is the worst to hit the region in more than 80 years. That volcano erupting back to life for the first time in 40 years. Tonight, a state of emergency as they now prepare for an even bigger eruption. Dramatic new images streaming in tonight. This drone footage, plumes of smoke filling the sky. The eruption from the Calbuco volcano came with little warning, spewing a mushroom cloud of ash and smoke more than six miles up into the sky above southern Chile. A second blast, less than 24 hours later, put on a dazzling display as lightning bolts of static electricity shot through the orange plume of smoke. More than 4,000 people evacuated from within a 12-mile radius of the volcano, which showered nearby communities with ash. Experts worry that the ash could contaminate water and cause widespread respiratory problems. I cannot even begin to imagine what that must have been like to walk out of their homes and look up and see that. It looks like Independence Day, it, it, like the movie, it, right? Absolutely. Where everything's falling apart. Wow. It almost doesn't look real. Yeah. yeah. Locals have started returning to their homes four days after Chile's Calbuco volcano violently erupted. The volcano erupted last week, taking the country by surprise. A photographer captured this image in the ash cloud. It looks like a human form is emerging from the plume. Severe storms are threatening many across the south this morning after several tornadoes touched down overnight. Keeping some of the most experienced storm chasers on their toes. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest hell I've ever seen. I want to turn to something that's been happening in Jefferson Parish. We told you about the rail cars that actually tumbled off of elevated tracks next to the Huey P. Long Bridge. It was quite a different experience. You know, I started my journey going across the Huey P. Long Bridge. I looked up and the sky was absolutely just black. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this and video. Then... You said to me, this is something that uh, happens in movies. Exactly. And now at 10, an earthquake shaking up parts of the Midwest this morning. People here in Wisconsin say they felt it. Now, the 4.2 magnitude quake was centered in Michigan. Shook parts of four states in the upper Midwest. Many today described more than the shaking. It was the noise, which sounded like a freight train, many said, that left them a little unsettled. And here's a listen at what it sounded like. What is very rare is that it originated here. Everything on the shelves and windows, everything was shaking. But it lasted and just kept going. It probably lasted 10 to 15 seconds. You don't expect those in Michigan, you know. It sure is getting a lot of tension here and across the country. We've learned that scientists think a volcano is erupting off the coast of Oregon and Washington. Yeah, it's about 300 miles from Astoria, but thousands of small earthquakes a day are coming with it. 300 miles off the Oregon coast, three quarters of a mile underwater, the ocean floor is shaking. The U.S. Geological Survey confirming two earthquakes in Madison County. It's been listed as a 3.2 earthquake on the Richter scale for the first one, a 3.0 for that second one. I felt like a strong vibration. It felt like I actually thought like a car ran into the building and somebody got in a wreck and I thought a car was about to come inside the building because I thought the whole building was about to collapse. I mean, it was like a vibration. It seemed like it was about to pick up the building off the ground. The magnitude 3.9 earthquake shook the Southland early this morning. It struck just after four in Baldwin Hills. According to the USGS, it was felt as far west as Santa Barbara and as far east as San Bernardino. I felt a big jerk and it sounded like it had a roar to it.
And with that, that's what they'd like us to believe. But you see, what they're really up to is a scheme to plant their own loyal members in positions of power in this country, to work to erase national boundaries and create an international community, and in time, bring about a one-world government with David Rockefeller calling the shots. Okay, Mr. Klein, if you just... I'm telling you, our whole way of life as we know it is in jeopardy. I appreciate that information. But I, I, have, I have the documented evidence. It's all in there. Show him. Yeah, well, um... You're still not convinced, Well, get ready for a whole new type of password for your computer and online activities. A PayPal executive is suggesting a new system where devices are injected or embedded into the body. The Wall Street Journal reports those devices could include brain implants and attachable computers. PayPal's Jonathan LeBlanc says new technology has taken a huge leap forward to what he calls true integration with the human body. For example, he tells the journal that thin silicon chips can be embedded into the skin for an accurate way to prove your identity. LeBlanc says PayPal isn't necessarily thinking about adopting these ideas and that it will be some time before all of this becomes reality. Elsewhere in the country, Bass Pro Shop celebrated its grand opening of its indoor pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. The inside of the pyramid modeled after the outdoors resembled our very own Bass Pro Shop in Springfield. The grand opening celebrations will continue through the weekend and offer special exhibits, giveaways and entertainment. You know, I remember the big dig when the pyramid was built for all you uh, longtime Memphians, and now this is its rebirth. Very exciting. Good stuff out there. Hey, and thank you for viewer photos. Tina Reeve sent this in this morning. She writes, absolutely no editing needed on God's beauty. Tipton County, Tipton County, Tennessee, showing out this morning. 